all of my old wedding series videos I used to wear something like all the time that was like a bride shirt or a veil or something um, extra, you know, because that's what I am. I'm extra. And I got out of that. Well, so you know what? I'm filming a wedding series video right now. So we don't be extra again. <coughs> just, gonna, just gonna put on my little... Yep, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna put my bride sash on and we gonna be extra. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. I literally like have a, a mirror that sits below my camera and I can't take myself seriously when I see what I'm wearing right now. But it's a wedding series video, so we're doing it. All right, we're doing it. Today I am discussing long engagements versus short engagements because this has been, I don't know why, but it's been brought up a few times in my life recently. And then today when I was like sitting down, like writing out all my notes for the videos today, um, I actually didn't have this one planned and a video popped up on YouTube and it was like, how long is too long of an engagement? And I watched it and it, it actually really wasn't about that. But I was just like, you know what? Long engagements versus short engagements. Let's weigh the two, okay? So that's what we're doing in today's video. We're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna power right through. Subscribe below if you are new here. And yeah, let's just go. I would just like to also say that I'm not trying to offend anybody by saying, you know, there's no right or wrong way to have an engagement. Honestly, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. If you're married, when you wanna be married, if you set a wedding date and you're married at the end of that day, girl, you did the one thing that you were supposed to do. You did good, good job, I'm proud of you. But when I say short engagement in this video, I mean like a zero to eight months. And when I say long engagement, I mean eight to like 16 to 18 months. That's my timeline when I say short and long. Um, I think that having an engagement that's like three to five years is crazy. Um, so I'm not even gonna just talk about that in this video. We're just gonna cover like the difference between short engagements versus long engagements, okay? When I actually had sat down with my fiance, and we had decided on a wedding date. August of 2017, we would get married. Um, he ended up asking me December 3rd, so before Christmas last year. So we kind of had our wedding, get say, wait, wedding, wedding date set for August of 2017 and then I think we kind of looked at it and we were like you know what maybe May 2018 is a better idea because he would be starting his senior year in August of like this past year he started his senior year of college and in May he will graduate so we were like maybe he should just graduate first and then we'll get married we're getting married six days after he graduates and so just kind of worked out in our way. So we will have been engaged for 16 months, I believe, by the time we say I do. And people are forever like, oh my God, that is just so long. Why, are you like not ready to get married? Girl, I literally have been ready to marry him. Like, so some moment he told me he loved me, I was like, okay, I love you too, let's get married. Like, I've been ready to marry him forever, okay? With wedding planning, the way it goes is when you book your vendors, they all require deposits. And then as the wedding day approaches, they require that final amount of money. Being that I like picked all of my vendors or almost all of my vendors in January of this year and I'm not getting married until next May, all of the deposits were due in January and we have until next May to get all of that paid off. So you have so much more time to like get the money and finances together if you have a long engagement. This is especially important if you're paying for the wedding yourself or if you want to have maybe a more extravagant wedding. Um, having a longer engagement is definitely better because the money is a little bit more stretched out. Everything isn't happening all at one time and so you can easily you know, have that year and a half to get everything together. Now, of course, to some people that doesn't matter. Um, I know for me, that wasn't a big thing in why I picked our wedding date. Again, like I told you, we wanted to get married in August, but Sam was starting college and we really wanted to wait until after he graduated. And it just so happened to be a perk of having that long engagement that our money wasn't all having to be like spent in this like six month period of time. We had that whole, all of 2017 and then the first five months of 2018 to pay for the wedding. And I say we, I mean my parents since they're for it. Thanks mom and dad by the way. <sighs> I 
This is something that like irks my nerve, okay? With wedding planning, if you choose to have a long engagement, everyone criticizes you for planning your wedding so far out. I got engaged last December and started planning in January and I got the, you have like so far away until your wedding, why are you planning it now? It is none of your business why she is choosing to plan her wedding, whether it's one month away or three years away, it is literally none of your business to look at a bride and be like, your wedding is X amount of time away, you really don't need to be doing that right now. Let her do whatever she wants to do, okay? And because I started planning my wedding so early, I actually got a huge selection of vendors. When I went in January to my venue, I was the third bride to look at that venue for that year. That was terrifying that it was January of 2017. It was the very first day. We went on January 1st, 2017 to look for the venue. And I was the third girl to already be looking at venues for 2018. So that was pretty scary to me. And so I was like, okay, well maybe I need to go ahead and get the vendors. Contacted my caterer, five slots a day. I was the third bride to take that slot. Um, you, I contacted the DJ. He already had two brides booked for May. Photographer, everybody gets booked up so fast. And so when you do have a long engagement, you have more time to relax and find your vendors, especially if you live in a city where there are way more vendors. I live in the upstate of South Carolina, so although there's a lot, there's not that many really good vendors. Um, so, you know, I kind of had a little struggle there, but if you have a long engagement, you have more time to kind of relax and find your vendors versus if you have a short engagement, you kind of have to, okay, I have four months until I get married. Um, this, I, you don't have that time, if that makes sense. Like I'm kind of rambling. You don't have that time to sit around and try out different vendors. You really have to just go. The biggest thing that I recommend a long engagement to you guys, now I get it, you know, I've said it a hundred times, probably say it a hundred more. My situation was different. I wanted to have an engagement that was eight months long. I am so grateful now that I will have more than that because the little things have stayed little. In wedding planning, it can be so easy to get caught up on like the very tiny things that don't matter. And because I've had 16 months to sit around and stew about it, or technically I've really only had a year, but I'll have 16 months total, uh, little things stay little things. Oh, the rehearsal can't happen at the exact time I wanted it to. It mattered at first, it doesn't anymore. Little things like, oh, the bridesmaid's dress came in incorrectly, which did happen. We have like, well over eight months to get that situation fixed, it didn't matter. It was a little thing and it stayed little. And when you have a short engagement, you can't have that time. Everything's gotta be like that. I have said this in like, I think it was like the first wedding planning series video that I ever made. This is a season of your life when you're not just a bride for one day. You're a bride the whole time that you're engaged. Everyone thinks you're only a bride one time. No, 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 girlfriend. You're a bride the whole time you're a fiance. And for me, I'm gonna be a bride for a little bit of time. So it's okay with me that I have like five months until I get married, because I'm a bride for five more months. And as stupid as that sounds, I get to be a bride now for 16 months total, and that's just really cool. I also get to be a bride every time I sit down on this YouTube video to film, and I wear this very crappy little veil that I got from a bridal fair. And finally, in trying to keep this video short, one of my biggest reasons that I believe everyone should have a long engagement is because you get to enjoy the engagement. Things are more spread out, things are a little bit more fun, you get to take time, everything isn't crammed in there all together. You get to just go at your own pace, you get to just and really enjoy all aspects of the wedding planning experience, I guess. And I feel like I have just repeated myself a billion times, but obviously I'm a little bit biased, but I definitely just kind of wanted to lay out all of my reasons behind I like backing a long engagement because I think that while short engagements are fine and every situation is different, if you get the choice that you don't have to absolutely 100% get married by this day or this will happen, take the longer route. I promise you it is way less stressful that way doesn't mean that there won't be hiccups. It just means that your perspective on those hiccups can be way more chill than it would be if they're all crammed into six months. 
Thank you guys so much for coming and joining me today for this YouTube video. As always, I love you guys. Make sure to go below and subscribe if you are not already. I put up three videos every single week, and I want you to be a part of my YouTube family. I hope to see you guys in my next video, and that's all I got.